Hola, konnichiwa, bonjour, welcome back to Cheese Disable. I didn't know what I was going to bring the channel today. I played some Dead by Daylight, had nothing but bad games full of disconnects and like try hard killers. And um, it wasn't working out. Like I had two killers disconnect. I played like four games and I had like a total of five people disconnect and uh, just like super quick. So it didn't work out. So we are here on Cobra Kai. Um, I also consider bringing Need for Speed to the channel, but I, while it is fun to play, I don't think there's a lot of entertainment value in watching. Uh, there's not a lot to narrate, and uh, I will leave the quality racing narration to the Rockstar Pool. I am not as qualified as he is to do that. I don't. Um, I don't narrate races as well, so. We considered that we considered bringing more MMO stuff, but we just did Final Fantasy 14. So I wanted to do something a little different. And I thought, Hey, I haven't done Cobra Kai in a while. And I decided to start the Miyagi Do storyline. So if you see the opening cutscene and you're like, what the hell is going on? I've already seen this. It's because I started the Miyagi Do storyline. There is, you play through Miyagi, you play through Cobra Kai. And there's an ending once you complete it with both. So we're going to do that and see what happens. We're going to hop right in playing the bad guy, Daniel LaRusso. He was the bad guy in Karate Kid. He was the bad guy in Cobra Kai, just a bad guy all around. So if you want to see adults karate fighting teens, this is the episode for you. Thank you so much for watching. My name's Brad. I appreciate you being here. Like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends if you feel like. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell your OnlyFans, tell your Snapchat associates, your Instagram homies. Get on MySpace. Let Tom know he needs to subscribe to Cheats Disabled. Uh, we appreciate you. Let's just roll that footage. And it's present day. Hopping right into this bad boy. You've seen this before. Boys are scrapping. Boys, stop. I said stop. Stop. All I hear are crazy rumors of brawls with flaming punches and freezing kicks. Absolute nonsense, right? But I get to school, and what do I find? Complete freezing kicks chaos. are pretty neat, though, I gotta admit. Two beating each other over it. But it's all true, Mr. Lopez. Well, not everything, because Eli here keeps spending the facts. He's been brainwashed ever since joining Cobra Kai. Shut up, Miyagi nerd. Do you want another fist to the nose? Enough. Look, unless you're looking for a suspension, stop. I still yelling, don't get that. Stop fighting. These dudes are fighting and, and throwing fire punches sense. and ice kicks, and then they're now, still not getting suspended. The Maybe the principal's scared. Maybe he's scared to get his butt kicked. Select your dojo. Just like our dojo. Miyagi dorks. Welcome to the Miyagi Do Dojo. We're going with Miyagi Do. Because we're trying to unlock everything. So we unlocked the trophy. Karate for defense. Yeah. Karate for D. That's a well, good way to sell it. Knows the power of love is a curious thing, right? Don't you dare say it can change a hawk into a little white dove. Whoa! Insecure much? I meant to say Sam has a soft spot for Miguel. So when a strange note came in, she thought it was his. Miguel! Hey, wait! But it wasn't really a cute invite. Oh, look who's oh, man. here. If it isn't the daughter of that old timer, all valley karate champion. Oh, yeah. You take one step closer, and I'll show you what I learned from him. Well, look at, I mean, they're like, hey, look, it's the daughter of the karate uh, kid champion. And she's like, yeah, you want to fight? Yeah, that's really karate for defense there, huh? These guys are a sham. Starting with Sam LaRusso. The true villain of Cobra Kai, the TV show, is Sam LaRusso. You can't change my mind. Don't at me. She's a terrible human being. Let's see how she fights. Because obviously we have to play her. As soon as we can switch off of Sam LaRusso, we're gonna. Ouch. Is that how you treat a fan? Uh, what? I don't have any fans. Really? But <laughs> you got our fan mail. We got a little fan service for you. We got a little like fan service. Father, like daughter. That's right. 
Things is getting sketch. Remember your training. Keep moving. Look, even he yes, walks like a kick, jerk. Deals more that kick's pretty cool, though. I gotta admit, her animations are cooler looking. It's so hard to keep your combos going because with her especially because she gets in the air like that and by the time you realize you've missed you're already in the air and it's so easy to get your combos broken in this game I, i've played a couple as you guys know i played a couple levels on uh, cobra kai and this is obviously the first level of miyagi do Running is an important part but of combat. it's like so hard to keep Red your combo together under idol. just by the time you run to people you're at a combo i sure hope there's like skills or upgrades or something that let your combo meter last longer and increase faster her punches are lame by the way that's the other thing I've noticed, and I think you even said that when you pick your dojo. Like, like they're more kick focused, and you can see that because their kicks are like their kicks. Their kicks are way OP. Like I feel like she does way more damage with her kicks than Miguel did with his punches. But I guess that's what happens when you know victories written or history is written by the victorious rich girl instead of the true protagonist of the franchise. But yeah, she's uh, she's hard to string combos together with. It's a lot easier to string combos together with Miguel. Um, her combos look are visually more appealing. Like I'll admit that, like super more appealing. That uh, that kick is super cool. And that was pretty cool. And she gets the ice, which like slows the enemies down. And we're doing those ground and pound techniques. We're putting, we're, I mean, we're stringing together a. Uh, Skills must cool down before you can use them again. Stringing together a real, uh, real fight here. Got up to B. That's pretty good. Only got up to B one other time before this, and that was with Tori. The girls are clearly better, you know. Uh, and this is where so you're gonna get mad because you can easily get jocked. See, look at we got up to B. Now I gotta go run and hopefully run into somebody else. And I accidentally hit the button. Press this so. button to unleash attacks using the environment. That was cool. Huh? Oh, we lost her. How did we lose our combo? That's ridiculous. Like we had the combo going, we didn't get a hit. We just got screwed. Her, her ultimate is way cooler too. I like, I gotta admit, like her moves are definitely cooler. They're definitely fan. Whoever wrote this game is definitely a Miyagi Do fanboy. Little ground and pound, little GMP action. Doing the damage. See, you're now you're stuck in a thing where it's like, do I want to pick up the coins? Because if I do, then I lose my combo. All right, so it's either like get no coins so you don't level up your stuff or lose your combo which in turn gives you coins anyway but i don't know i think you're, you're i think you're probably better off if you're good enough to s rank a level uh to forgo the coins and focus on your combo because if you s rank the level you'll get a thousand coins anyway which is more than you'll pretty much get in any level so but if you get hit at all, you get your combo broken. So, and sometimes it's hard to not get hit, especially when you're fighting multiple people and you're within your own combo and they can just hit you and with unbreakables and armored attacks and stuff like that. Like I was in a combo, there was nothing I could do to avoid it. So that sucked. So sometimes they get knocked off the screen, I hate skeletons. which is really hard, but we'll go ahead and focus on the coins for now. Cause we're not going to hit those. Button, throw stuff at your enemies. 
You can destroy objects with your strikes. Some of them even have food and items. God knows why. I'm really hoping, even though I don't like Robbie as a character, I'm really hoping we unlock Robbie soon. LP is who you unlock second. I'm assuming it'll probably be Daniel LaRusso. And hopefully it'll be Robbie in the next level, like it was Corey in the second level for Miguel. Uh, Robbie's a way, like, probably the most OP character in the game from what I've seen. Um, he's got, like, a sub-zero ice slide that makes your combo super easy and allows you to keep your combo alive and not take damage. So, we definitely want that. And, um, for those who have watched the previous episode, I have... I have discovered where the second collectible is and the collectibles I was missing because I, as you know, I've ran the first two levels and missed a collectible on each. Uh, the last collectible in those levels are you get them for getting an S rank on the level. I have not S ranked anything and I don't think you'll be able to. It's like a probably, you know, later in the game kind of situation because I don't see how you're going to S rank without all the moves and like combos and the things that help you rank up combos faster and stuff. Like, I don't see how you're gonna get an S rank. I also didn't know you could grab those dudes. So that was cool. Hey, look, we're in a B rank again. We don't get those very often, so. Get the B rank again. Now we're gonna get jocked out of our combo watch. Pretty good. Or 80. Yep, got the 80 heads and got jocked by an unblockable. I should have used my ultimate. That would have been smarter because I probably would have got knocked up there more. But I didn't. So it's uh it's stuff you notice as you come through the next time. They last for a few uses. It's hard. This game is hard. You have to be really good on your parries. And I really need to practice parrying so I can keep those combos alive and never take damage. Cause, but you, then you run into stuff right there. Like, how was I going to avoid that? Like, how was I going to avoid that? Like, I didn't even do anything. Like, that guy just came out of nowhere with, like, an unblockable... Like, he didn't have a parryable attack or anything. He just charged me, knocked me down, knocked out my combo. And I had nothing to say about it. While their moves are more stylized, you will see that it is harder to fight bosses. I felt like the bosses were way easier with Cobra Kai. Maybe Cobra that's because Cobra Kai is more often space. Is for I do feel like Sam has better moves. Against and I do Ami think that Cobra, the Miyagi-Do Dojo has better Dojo moves. But then again, you get stuck in combos Why like that. These guards doing this to us anyway? My favorite. That's my favorite badass. Stick him in the stuffed animal. Oh, stick him in the cash register. Stick him in the cash register. Stick him in the cash register. We're having fun. We're having fun now, ain't we, boy? me trying to keep the combo alive keep the dream alive stomping on him now we're gonna get Doc. watch um no how do we lose our combo we hit him with that thing that's what i'm talking about sometimes you just get jocked in this game get screwed over sam hatred induced toxicity that's a valid thing for me i, hate I think after i finish recording this episode hey. i'm gonna actually go watch cobra kai erica hasn't watched right? it Dad. and uh yeah, I'm, I'm fine. new season's coming just, in a couple months you know when the fight comes to you you gotta be ready to fight back i'm with you all right we're embracing our complete villain here we're taking an adult we're gonna beat a bunch of kids with this adult <laughs> Fury. His abilities are way better though. Yeah. 
Mr. Miyagi would not be proud of an adult. Actually, Miyagi probably would. I mean, Miyagi beat up a bunch of kids in the regular movies, so Miyagi would probably be just a okay with Daniel LaRusso punching a bunch of kids and skills and outfits in an arcade. Like that kid, that kid might be unconscious, can't breathe in that stuffed animal. He might be suffocating, and we're just gonna leave him there. A crane kick was pretty BA though. See, we lost our comic. There's nothing I could have done. I ran all the way here. I even triggered the running. There's nothing I could have done to keep my combo. Still my that's that's such a cool attack. Throwing them in the uh the basketball. We're keeping the combo alive pretty good. Keeping those C's up. Keep your C's up. Yeah, Snoop Dogg, there you see that. Sorry, so the, the bloods that might be listening to that. That was probably a bad joke. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be talking brap like that. Sorry about that buzzing. All sarcasm aside, please don't kill me, gangsters. Hold the dojo skill button and press parry to use your dojo parry skill. Their dojo parry is pretty dope, though. Frozen, <laughs> That is pretty cool. That's a good combo setup. Icicle fury. And the combo continuum. Stick them on the foosball table. Forget property damage. We're an adult karate fighting teenagers. Alpha. I need one middle-aged father who still believes he's in high school. Not Daniel LaRusso. Ay, 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 ay. And security guards. I mean, like, aren't we, like, breaking laws here? I mean, you're Miyagi, though. Who cares, right? Rich kids. Derek. Derek sounds like a real man. What are you doing here? What are you doing here, little oh, girl? Uh, did you just see two guys running through here? Yeah, I did. The only thing I see is a nosy little girl about to get crushed. I'm gonna beat up a little I'm an adult karate fighting teenager. Icicle Fury. Whoa, 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 I'm not so much for this big dude with a baseball bat and wanting to beat up Sam LaRusso yeah, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like Sam Lucio is trash, but this big muscle bound adult should not be trying to fight her with a baseball bat. It's pretty garbo. You guys not taking a lot of damage. Oh, we got we got right into that. Whoa, 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 I don't even know how many There's coins that was. It didn't even pop on the screen. The Every collectible you find awards you a new power up. Later we'll talk more about that. Yeah, see, you get one out of two collectibles. The other collectible you get from S ranking this level, which I will keep practicing until I do. Eventually. I also can't get the the thing to fight people on the ground to trigger consistently. Uh, I try, but they, you know, I guess that's why they say every rose has its song. And I still don't get the like. Uh, I guess I still, I still don't get how how um, the life bars work because. 
you guys are damn like we had a good combo string going and of course that dude just like hit like three unblockables in a row and we dodged two of them shouldn't be able to hit that many unblockables like i was saying use everything you've learned just variety their health first don't make sense because it's like it's green and you think the guy's dead and then he's got it pops up a whole nother health bar some of these guys only have one why not give it a different color you know, I don't make it yellow and then when you go to the, the bottom one it's green or whatever. Give me a consistent color here. Ran over there, left the coins there to keep our uh, keep our thing up and then blew it anyway. Frozen Alright, we're trying to there's all this tricks to trade here. There's these guys with the baseball that's tough. Uh, Cause look how, how long he keeps spamming these attacks and these dudes are attacking it's so hard to get them and then he's just like boom more and more and more uh, here's me doing unblockables armored attacks he just got armored attack after armored attack after armored attack after armored attack no break so we're gonna parry him need to work on my parry some more See, there's another guy that's just like boom another health bar out of nowhere i thought he was dead so i went with that attack and then again another health bar out of nowhere so i wasn't prepared you are not prepared as i lived in storm rage would say oh and sometimes a little yeah, i was in the middle of a combo and he's powered through it Nothing I can do about that. You got to be on your toes, man. You can't hit those parries too early either. I'm gonna hit the parry on him. The Katy Perry on him. Daniel, dear, I brought you something you'll like. Ooh, oh, what you bring awesome. me, baby? Yes. If you or any of your students... There are three types of food, each replenish a different amount of health. The sushi, an apple, this is awesome. and beef jerky. This is awesome. You've got a new skill. Hold the skill button and press any of the buttons available. Mix and match your skills for awesome combos. So now we got another skill. We're gonna fight this guy again. They fight the same boss. We do get more understanding of what's going on by playing both sides. Really? And you came all the way here just to tell us that. They must be dying for an autograph. Let me give them a few with my with your fist. Ooh, he's doing the Roman Reigns. Icicle fury. Wow. I totally worked for that crane gig. I don't know how, but it is what it is, I guess. Frozen, take this! Take this! Take that! Take that! Take that! Take that! Again. So easy to get the problem of working. Looking for the opening to do damage to this guy. Again, that's pretty awesome. Not even a fight. Those badass attacks, the environmental grapples are pretty sick. I enjoy them all. They're a good touch of this game. And we're doing everything we can to finish this guy off. Let's get this guy with the baseball out of here. Again, look at that. This guy's swinging all around, all the way behind him with the bat. How are you supposed to dodge that when he hits the front and behind him so you can't hold behind him? 
Fish this guy off of that. Take this. Wax on, wax off. Stop. Frozen, loaded. Take this. Icicle Take fury. This. I don't understand how we want to do the frozen loaded and like it just rolls. Even, see, this game just does its own thing sometimes. Like, I have to say, that's kind of a problem. It might have been my fault, but I don't know. Like, I don't know how you call frozen lotus and then just go forward. Take that. Take this. He's armored all the time. Even when you carry. This chat, this battle feels way harder than what it was with the Gallon Gauntlet. It's way more difficult battle. We're winding down this episode though. I've got a belly full of wings because we had wings for dinner as a little early birthday celebration um if you're watching this by the time you see another video for me i will have had my birthday and uh, yeah so thank you for watching uh thank you for all your support and all your time i appreciate you each and every one of you thank you for all the support of the channel and we switched to sam because i like her specials better and i was hoping maybe i could do more damage with her I was hoping that frozen thing would do more damage than it did. I was having trouble with Daniel doing the Lotus, so I thought maybe I'd switch out and do frozen Lotus. And it seems to be working better with Sam. But... Sam. Sam doesn't play. Here we are. So, okay. I think. It, how the hell did that whip? Roll right into that. See, that's what I'm talking about. It's hard. You get caught by combo so easy. How did he? He flew way further than normal on that one. Tried to, I tried to variable on my throne button. Oh, I was gonna finish him. But it did not. She farted on him. All right. Well, you can watch the cutscene at the end of this episode. Stay golden. Stay beautiful. Most importantly, it's a crazy world out there. Stay safe. Thank you so much for the journey we've been on. We're going to keep it going for a while. Uh, much love. Stay safe. Goodbye. A map? Tad needs to see this. Sam, how could you have gone without letting me know? I'm sorry, but I never thought any of this would happen. I'm just relieved you're all right. But those guys? I'm pretty sure I've seen them before. I bet they're Tori's goon friends. They knew you were my father, and even mentioned the All Valley Tournament. They knew what they were doing. It was an ambush. Yeah, and they kept mentioning those weird skeleton suits. You're right. It makes sense now. I know Johnny couldn't ever get over the past, but this is too far. We need to get to those spots on the map and stop this Cobra Kai madness. 